too dead to do it again the next day. And I have been dead before. I don't recommend it. Well, I mean, unless you can come back like me, in which case, sure, go for it. So here's an uh, example of somewhere that I have not been yet. So, oops, I keep hitting this wrong. So I'm going to yank out the binoculars and see what I can see down there. So let me change the vision mode to normal. So what I was explaining last night to people is what I'm looking for is movement. Um, I'm playing on a 55 inch TV. Uh, in fact, Puck, if you don't mind, cause I'll post it later. Can you snap a couple photos of me, um, streaming? Uh, cause my setup's pretty cool the way I've got it set up now. So I'm looking at like a 55 inch TV. So what I was thinking actually, if you do it from the doorway, uh, pointed at me. I was just getting more close up to you. Okay. Um, so I'm actually looking up at this. So what I'm looking for is for light, especially like that light on these houses, to be occluded. So once I can see a robot, I can switch vision modes. And so what I'm trying to do is hide behind the trees to keep a line of sight broken. Believe it or not, that does matter. And, um, okay, Digital, you go have fun and enjoy. We'll probably send some people over to you later. if We've still got people in channel. Thank you all. So just from my point of view, I like to do this every so often. So. I'll tweet those later, Sir Biff, if you want to see them. Um, but basically, breaking line of sight is important because if I do that, they can't... Um, keep a lock on me. And I stay crouched most of the time because, like I said, stealth in this game is very important. I will take the long way around something in order to stay behind cover the entire time rather than um, go straight into uh, danger. So, like, right now, I don't actually see any robots. Doesn't mean they aren't here. I'm just not seeing any. So I'm going to go back kind of in the woods and I'm going to see if I can creep my way around that um, shipping container. <laughs> yep, looks like I can. No robots that I'm seeing so far. But I also don't know what's in that shipping container. But I'm not going to open that until I confirm that I've got no robots. Because that kind of noise will bring them to me if they are here. So, all right. Well, in that case, we're going to go ahead and open it up, see what I get. Looks like some family was moving stuff. Alright, I'm not taking any explosive containers because, holy crap, every time I take an explosive container, I die. And not in a good way. Oh, come on, don't do this. So the only big problem I've been running into bug-wise is getting stuck in the level geometry. That has been my biggest problem. Beyond that, there hasn't really been, there really hasn't been any other major issues other than that. I just keep getting stuck in the level geometry. So, and that sucks because that means the only way I can get out of that at that point, um, okay, that's new. That's not supposed to be there. Take a look. What is that? That is a floating rock. I can guess which one of you because we're here. Ambient space. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I believe it. 
That's kind of amusing. Honestly, that's the first really bad graphical bug like that I've seen. Actually, I've always wondered something. I hadn't tried it yet. This might bring the enemies to me. Dude, I can shoot out the lights. I wondered about that. Mm. You know Ian McKellen? Yeah, Sir Ian. Years, yeah, he's 80 years old. Oh, yeah, Sir Ian McKellen, like, otherwise known as, besides Christopher Lee, one of the most awesome people on the planet. Magneto. Yes, gay Magneto. Very gay Magneto. Yes. He was best friends with Professor Xavier. Yes. Yeah, you know, it is funny. Picard is, I mean, they, they, they have done to, gone to so much pride stuff together. It's funny as hell. Oh yay, more fireworks and flares. I guess I just have a flare for theatrics. <laughs> if you don't watch a series entirely, you're not a true fan. If you, if you do watch a series entirely, you're not a true fan either. You're only a true fan if you are powered by electricity, have multiple flat blades, and spin around really fast. Mm, yeah, very true. Dude, that is like a you weird, weird, weird rock. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's totally not part of the level geometry right now. Look at this. <laughs> there must have. There was probably supposed to be something under it. Hey, question. Can you get into a third person mode? Uh, no. As far as I know, there is not a third person mode. Darn. I was gonna say get into third person and scream over the rock. Oh. Although, like I said, you know, most of the glitches that I've run into are those kind of glitches. They're not game-breaking, but they're certainly disconcerting. Oh, these guys like checkers and smoking. Lots of checkers and smoke. It's all part of the game. You know, I actually got an achievement for reading those. Really? Yeah. I got an achievement for reading um, all the translated ones. Yeah, Because when you walk up to it, they're in Swedish. Mm -hmm. uh, and so when you walk up to them, the game you know, tra gives you the English subtitle. I actually left the language on Swedish. Um, for the voice language. For, especially for the voice actors. Because, um, I mean, they're native Swedes. So... It just felt right. Alright, let's see what we got in this room. Anything good? Nope, nothing there. Nothing there. And nothing there. Come on, guys. Give me some good stuff. But there are advantages in this game to like turning lights on and off, to having your flashlight on and off. Uh, it's one of the reasons why you guys keep seeing me turn the flashlight on and off. It's because if I don't, um, then they can spot me by my flashlight beam. And I'm just looking for containers and stuff behind the doors. Most of the houses look lived in. Uh, I mean, it's it's very atmospheric. Let's go upstairs. The only thing that is a little odd is you cannot shoot through the windows. Um, I made that mistake before. The windows are apparently bulletproof. But here's an example of a radio, a cassette player, actually, that I can use to um, distract enemies. Give me one second, guys. I have got to do something I don't normally do on stream, so I'm going to throw the AFK screen up real quick. I've got to take some of my...
Okay, I'm back. Sorry, guys. I uh, have a regimen of meds I have to take pretty much every day, and this was time for the evening portion. So don't get sick, kids. If you, if you can avoid getting an autoimmune disorder, I highly recommend it. Being sick like I am is no fun. Silencer, which you don't need. Why do they have explosives in their bedroom? I mean, do they really need to bang that badly? Wow. I mean, I know, I know that can be a real blast to power one. Uh, maybe he's just playing with himself. <laughs> what? Hey, dear? Yeah. We have a new house rule. No saying terrible puns when somebody is imbibing either drink or vape. Oh, wah, wah, wah. Didn't die. Uh, just do me a favor. Don't die until I get on your life insurance. I'm dead. Damn. I could use that money. Not sure for what, but I'm sure I could use it. Honey, you and I both know if you got all that money, what you would spend it on. Books and video games. In your memory, of course. In my memory, of course. I'd get a little plaque in your library. In memory of Puck. One annoying beep. <laughs> oh, well, I hope everybody watching is enjoying so far. I do take feedback on my channel. I'm still relatively new at this. I'm not going to lie. Um, I have streamed for years, but doing it like this in this kind of format is still relatively new to me. So I do take um, suggestions and recommendations. Um... Not generally for game, choice of games. Um, that I do ask everybody every once in a while if I have two or three different ones to try. But for the most part, the gameplay is, is, is a long tater ship. Yes, you get a say, though. Genocide run under two? Uh, I said a say. I didn't say you got a decision. <laughs> and no. How many times do I have to say it? Nope. So where are we? Okay. So now, let's go up the island. Because I don't know what's on the top of this cliff. And hopefully it's that military base I've been looking for. Sorry, guys. Normally the game actually has a little bit more combat than this. But um, the game, like I said, I've... Now, I didn't follow it much beforehand... Oh, this is interesting. The home team payback mission. Okay. I don't know what that is, but we're going to find out. Um, and I am pimping my YouTube. I do have a Discord. Um, both are linked in, the, in my uh, Twitch info below. My schedule for right now, um, health depending, is uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, between 8 p.m. Eastern and 9 p.m. Eastern, ending between uh, ending around 11 p.m. Eastern at the latest. Uh, just because I have to be at work the next day, usually by 8 or 9 a.m., depending on what's going on at work. Um, Saturdays and Sundays are free-for-alls. I tend to stream in the afternoon on Saturdays and in the morning on Sundays. Veslin Command Bunker. Ha, 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 ha. I found my base. I found my base. Anyways. Well, maybe I found my base. Because all my base are belong to me. Because I'm all about that base. About that base. No robots. <laughs> Oh, that's a mech. 
Say good night, Gracie. Good night. Oh crap. Oh, not really one of you two. Good night. Oh crap, my aim sucks. Oh, my aim is terrible. God, how many of them are there? Oh, this is what we like to refer to as bad. Oh God, especially when they like jump on me. was bad. Oh jeez, there's three of them there? Oh, ah. I might be up in my death counter in a moment, guys. shots left. Oh, holy crap! How many more of these guys are there? Well, guys, um, for the first time in a very long time, I have to update my death counter real quick. That's uh, a little surprising. hurt. I am not going to lie. Of course, it doesn't help that I'm completely out of med kits. But that's what happened, guys. If you run and gun too much, um, God, I, maybe I should have picked up some of the Explosive tanks, but All right, how 
Let's head back up there. Good grief. Yeah, I knew there were going to be a lot up there. I didn't realize there was going to be quite that many. And I think I'm going to switch over from the um, submachine gun to my shotgun again, I think. Right, what about all my shotgun right now? Bird shot. Yeah, that works. I might try the slug ammo later, too. So I should have just put the um, automatic rifle on automatic. Oh, and thank you everybody that followed me in the last uh, few hours. That's awesome. I did, missed it. I've got to get my alerts back up and running. I really do. On the road again. Way's gonna be killing them bad guys on the road again. Actually, I think I'm going to switch. So I've got my shotgun. I'm going to move my um, hunting rifle back. I think in place of the um, automatic rifle. I just I seem to have better luck with sniping with the um, hunting rifle than I do with the um, automatic rifle. So what do I keep seeing twinkling like over there? See if I can chain some of the explosions too, that would help. See if I hit the um, the fuel tanks on the back of the bots when I, when I hit them, uh, if I cause an explosion, that will often disable, uh, if there are a couple of them nearby, it'll disable a lot of them at once. All right, so there's the home set I was at, which means all those geniuses. All the exploded corpses should be over there. So let's see if I can do this in such a way that it doesn't get me killed again. I have no, I have no health packs, and I have no um, more adrenaline kits. This will be a hairier than a yeti during molting season.
let's flip over into binoculars view because this should give me more insight into what I'm facing if I can see anything. No. Gee, I think some of the robots might be malfunctioned or damaged. One of them does. <laughs> Thing is, I don't know where he's at. Which is not good. Because that's one of them I really, really need to know where he's at. him out before he sounds an alarm. He's a poor flying bastard. Sounds like they're like right over the ridge. She might very well be actually. This is over.
Yeah, we're that close to the entrance. Creepy, thank you. <laughs> so what were they saying in the computer? Some are working. Passage markers of their own. Home naval base. Wow. Okay. What else do I have on me? Small fuel cell, small EMP cell. Makes a little bit more sense now, at least.
Alright, do I have enough? I actually have enough, I'll be shocked.
the hardest one I've faced so far. I don't lie. And yeah, doing that with no med kits, not a smart idea. Grab a radio this time. Oh, oh, geez, okay. piercing, full metal jacket, bird shot, buckshot, slug, power point, can drop, again. Alright guys, I'm going to take a quick bio again and check my blood sugar while I'm at it and I'll be back in just a minute.
I mean, it's one thing if my pancreas decides it wants to work and lets me know. But, uh, yeah, apparently. All right, so. Well, at least I got another one of those EMP things and a fuel cell to blow, to blow stuff up, up with. Yeah, we'll probably have to start throwing them down her throat soon. <laughs> she starts having issues. Good luck with that. Oh, you are such a wuss. No. I'm making an important decision based on your cat. They ain't being a wuss. Wuss. It's a cat. It is a cat with ten sharp razors on its paws. <sighs> hey, at least my cat likes you. You too. Oh, I just meant compared to, uh, you know, the okay. former, yeah. Why did she like her? I think she didn't. She really didn't. Trust me, if she had, she wouldn't have tortured her on a daily basis. Cats do not torture people. Oh, well, I wouldn't have called them a person, but... <clears throat> okay, I guess that was a little mean, even for me. No. People have souls. That bitch did not have a soul. Nope. She made Flowey look nice. And if you, anybody out there watching, if you get that reference, we love you. And even if you don't get that reference, we love you too. We are not gatekeepers. I might be the key master, but we're not gatekeepers. And if you get that joke, I really love you. You get that one, right? No. Seriously. What game is it from? Not a game. Oh. If I am the key master and you're the gatekeeper. Oh, is it, is it just a saying that you come up with? Zool, honey. Zool. Ghostbusters. I have to rewatch that. Yeah, that is, so one of the big things is Rick Moranis' character, after he gets possessed, keeps running around looking for the gatekeeper. I am the key master, are you the gatekeeper? Got it. Dana, the woman who is possessed, you know, Bill Murray's uh, semi-love interest, is the gatekeeper. Which, I, you know, that had to be like a highlight of Rick Moranis' life uh, to kiss her. Remember who played her, but she was for the 80s. I mean, she was very attractive. I mean, even for the not 80s, she was fairly attractive. Time check the ammo in my turlet. Yep, shader's full. So we're going to hop, skip, and fast travel down to I need another safe house. It's not like an impossible distance from that damn thing. I don't really have one. I guess we'll do the Hastavik safe house. And see if I can hop back up the road and travel around. Because I'm sure the bunker turns into a safe house once I clear it. Clearing it's the problem. Because that is one. Those were some nasty mother fudgers. Not gonna lie. Alright, And you see, the problem was, is um, if I kept my flashlight on down there, they were able to target me much more easily. I should have just kept the flashlight on. I already knew where I was. I would have probably ended up taking less damage.
I really do say, like I said, so far for this game, I'm um, I'm enjoying it. It's it has been frustrating enough without being like mean frustrating. You know, never. I mean, yes. Do I feel like it's unfair sometimes? Yes. Is that because I am not a stealth shooter gamer normally? Well, yeah, probably. It may not be that it's unfair. It may be this is just not normally the type of game I play. And that's okay. Well, you know, it's all about the gameplay itself. You're not really much for bullet hells, but you love Undertale. Well, but that's because the story, in my opinion, far made up for the fact it was a bullet hell. I mean, you're right. That is absolutely not my favorite game style. Not by any stretch of the imagination is that my favorite game style. But, yeah, I, I don't want to say I put up with it because it makes it sound like it's a bad game. And it's not. It's just not the kind of game I like. So, and that's okay. I mean, like I said, you know, I don't have to like every game out there. You know, I'm not a sports game guy. Do I recognize that some sports games are incredibly well made and deserve the acclaim that they've gotten over the years? Oh, absolutely. Um, it's like movie critics who recognize that the zombie genre may be the genre they hate the most but that movies within the zombie genre are still art. Mm -hmm. That was one thing, honestly, that pissed me off about uh, Siskel and Ebert, especially Ebert. You know, he, it, to him, it didn't matter. If, it, if he didn't like it, it really wasn't art, at least from everything that I read about his reviews. Mm -hmm. If he didn't like it, it wasn't art. And that just, that, I'm sorry, that's unacceptable. Just because I don't like it or I'm not good at it doesn't mean it shouldn't exist. Absolutely. Now, I will say the one thing that will ruin an experience for me faster than anything else, we've talked about this before, is gatekeeping. You know, if you are that person who absolutely adores sports games, show me why. You know, don't try to keep me from them. And that is unfortunately where I think a lot of people um, tend to go off track. They forget that, they, that, pe that in order for their hobby to stay relevant, they have to bring new people into it at some point. Could I gatekeep a lot of this stuff that I enjoy? Oh, absolutely. Do I know far too many gatekeepers? I know I'm not friends with them, at least not for very long. Usually once I figured out somebody's a gatekeeper, they're, uh, they gone. their time is short as a friend. Because, I mean, seriously, it's, it's disheartening to think that somebody who likes the same stuff you do could want to keep other people from it. Like somebody was complaining about women and video games. And it's like, oh, okay, what's the problem? Well, you know, they, they're, they you know, it's women and video games. That, that's a guy's thing. Since when? Yeah, it, what a lot of people fail to realize is a lot of the fan clubs and conventions as a whole got started because of female fans. Like back whenever um, Star Trek, the first series, first came out, mm -hmm. it was considered one of those, oh, women watch it for, you know, sex appeal for the main character and blah 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 it wasn't until a lot of men saw that there was actually a good story to it that it became a, you know, an okay thing for guys to partake well, in and people forget the only reason Star Trek the original series went on the air and stayed for as long as it did is because of Lucille Ball oh yeah no, she, she did a lot in her life she was one who absolutely adored the concept of the, the basically the wagon train to the stars I mean that's what Star Trek was, was called at one point I mean, in fact, William Shatner posted on his Twitter today. I don't know who he was responding to, but somebody went, I didn't know you'd starred in any Westerns. And he went, uh, Star Trek? Star Trek's not a Western. No. Uh, excuse me? That was the whole purpose. The reason Westerns weren't as popular anymore is because a lot of people felt that they were done. Because we had already explored the West. What Wild West? There isn't a Wild West anymore. So, 
Um, with that in mind, they went ahead and, you know, that, that was the new wagon train to the stars. Where's this truck it's supposed to be? I still think it's funny that I'm looking at this, and this is, I think, the only area I've actually got access to at the moment. But look at that. This still just blows my mind. Mm -hmm. Are you able to go along the entire continent? It looks like you should be able to. Yeah, this, I believe the game will eventually cover all of the highlighted. Because, I mean, you've got stuff that's labeled all over the place. What happens if you get to, like, the edge of a continent? 